hi everyone in this video we are going to learn about comparison of unlike fractions unlike fractions means the fractions with the different denominator for example 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 2 and 3 are denominators right so they are different such type of fractions are called unlike fractions so now we have to compare such type of unlike fractions in this first we are going to learn about fractions with the same numerator the denominators are different but if the numerator is same how to compare such type of unlike fractions in unlike fractions with the same numerator the fraction with the greater denominator is the smaller fraction so here the numerators are same but the denominators are different so in such cases the uh, greater denominator that fraction it becomes the smaller fraction example 1 by 3 and 1 by 4 here we have the numerators same 1 and 1 the denominators are different 3 and 4 the greater denominator which one is greater 3 or 4 4 is the greater so this fraction is the smaller fraction so compare the denominators 3 and 4 so 4 is greater than 3 so the fraction 1 by 4 becomes the smaller fraction the fraction with the greater denominator is a smaller fraction we have the four denominator fraction is this right so this is the smaller one and 1 by 3 is the bigger fraction so 1 by 4 is less than 1 by 3 or we can convert them into the like fractions so we have 1 by 3 and 1 by 4 so we have to find the LCM of the denominators 3 and 4 right so we have to find the LCM of 3 and 4 that is 3 and 4 so we don't have any uh, common factors so 3 into 4 is equals to 12 12 is the LCM of 3 and 4 so to convert them into like fractions what we have to do 1 by 3 into so we have to make denominator as 12 so we have to multiply the denominator and the numerator by 4 so 1 by 3 into 4 by 4 is equals to multiply the numerators 1 into 4 is equals to 4 by 3 into 4 is equals to 12 next 1 by 4 1 by 4 is equals to we have to make the denominator 12 so multiply the 4 by 3 so multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3 so 1 by 4 into 3 by 3 is equals to 1 into 3 3 4 into 3 12 so this became 3 by 12 so now 4 by 12 and 3 by 12 are like fractions now we can compare easily the like fractions the greater numerator is the greater fraction and the smaller numerator the that fraction is a smaller fraction so here we have 4 by 12 and 3 by 12 now compare the numerators 4 and 3 so 4 is greater than 3 so that fraction 4 by 12 is greater than 3 by 12 that is 4 by 12 means 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 is greater than 3 by 12 means 1 by 4 so 1 by 3 is greater than 1 by 4 or 1 by 4 is less than 1 by 3 so we have to convert them into like fractions these becomes the equivalent fractions and so compare the like fractions and so 1 by 4 is less than 1 by 3 we got the same in the uh, both the ways so simply um, compare the denominators here okay the greater the denominator the smaller that fraction when we are having the numerators are same compare just denominators the de greater the denominator that smaller the fraction fractions with different denominators how to compare the fractions with different denominators and different numerators so first step find the LCM of denominators 
and step 2 convert the fractions into equivalent fractions with the same denominator. Next step 3 compare the equivalent fractions. So first we have to find the LCM and next we have to find the equivalent fractions for those, uh, both the uh, fractions but the denominators mu must be same and next then compare that fractions for example so here we have the example 2 by 3 and 4 by 5 we have different denominators and different numerators so we have to compare 2 by 3 and 4 by 5 in such cases we have to find the lcm of the denominators here we have the denominators 3 and 5 so find the lcm of 3 and 5 so lcm of 3 and 5 is that is 15 so we have to convert this denominators to 15 so 2 by 3 is equals to 2 by 3 into so for to get 15 we have to multiply by 5 so 2 by 3 into 5 by 5 is equals to 2 into 5 10 3 into 5 15 next 4 by 5 is equals to 4 by 5 into so we have to multiply by 3 3 by 3 is equals to 4 into 3 12 5 into 3 15 we got equivalent fraction for 2 by 3 is 10 by 15 4 by 5 is equals to 12 by 15 now we have to compare 10 by 15 and 12 by 15 we have the same denominators so we have to compare 10 by 15 and 12 by 15 these are the like fractions right so we have to compare the numerators 10 and 12 so 10 is less than 12 so 10 by 15 is less than 12 by 15 10 by 15 means it's a equivalent fraction of 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 is less than 12 by 15 12 by 5 is 15 is equivalent fraction of 4 by 5 so 2 by 3 is less than 4 by 5 now let's see some problems compare with less than greater than or is equals to we have 2 by 5 and 2 by 7 here the numerators are same we know that the if the numerators are same we have to compare the denominators the greater the denominator the smaller that function fraction so we have 5 and 7 so 7 is the greater right so this fraction is the smaller one so 2 by 5 is the greater one and 2 by 7 is the smaller one so 2 by 5 is greater than 2 by 7 now 1 by 11 and 1 by 13 numerators are same compare denominators 11 and 13 13 is the greater one so this fraction is the smaller fraction 1 by 11 is the greater fraction so 1 by 11 is greater than 1 by 13 next 8 by 19 and 8 by 11 here the numerators are same compare the denominators 19 and 11 so 19 is the greater so 8 by 19 is a smaller fraction 8 by 11 is the greater fraction so 8 by 19 is less than 8 by 11 next 4 by 7 and 4 by 9 numerators are same compare the denominators 4 and 9 9 is the greater one so 4 by 9 is a smaller fraction 4 by 7 is the greater fraction so 4 by 7 is greater than 4 by 9 another problem is 3 by 4 and 1 by 5 so we have to find the lcm of 4 and 5 we have different denominators and different numerators so find the lcm of 4 and 5 that is 20 see lcm 4 and 5 we don't have any common factor so 4 into 5 is equals to 20 so this is the lcm so convert the denominator into 20 so that is 3 by 4 is equals to 3 by 4 into we have to multiply 4 by 5 to get the 20 so we have to multiply the numerator also so 3 by 4 into 5 by 5 is equals to 3 into 5 15 and 4 into 5 20 and 1 by 5 is equals to 1 by 5 into we have to get the 20 right so multiply by 4 4 by 4 1 into 4 4 and 5 into 4 20 so we got the equivalent fraction for 3 by 4 is 15 by 20 for 1 by 5 is equals to 4 by 20 so here the denominators are same so now compare the 
numerators we have 15 and 4 right so 15 is greater than 4 so this fraction 15 means 15 by 20 right so 15 by 20 is the greater than 4 by 20 that is 15 by 20 is the equivalent fraction of 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 is greater than 4 by 20 is great equivalent fraction of 1 by 5 right so uh, 3 by 4 is greater than 1 by 5 one more problem is 4 by 5 and 3 by 4 so here the numerators are different denominators are different so find the lcm of the denominators 5 and 4 that is lcm is 20 so 4 by 5 is equals to convert the de uh, denominators into uh, 20 so we have to multiply 5 by 4 so can multiply the numerator also so 4 by 5 into 4 by 5 4 by 4 is equals to 4 into 4 16 and 5 into 4 20 so 16 by 20 3 by 4 is equals to 3 by 4 into 5 by 5 that is 3 into 5 15 4 into 5 20 here we got the equivalent fraction 16 by 20 and 5 by 20 these are like fractions so compare the numerators 16 and 15 so 16 is greater than 15 16 means 16 by 20 is the equivalent fraction of 4 by 5 so 4 by 5 is greater than 3 by 4 here we have another type of problems arranging in ascending and descending orders we have one problem here 5 by 6 5 by 12 5 by 7 5 by 16 5 by 13 we have to arrange these fractions in ascending and descending order how to arrange in ascending and descending order we have the numerators are same here so we have to compare the denominators we already know th knew that how to compare the uh, denominators when we are having the same numerators so we have to compare these fractions and write in ascending and descending order ascending means smaller to uh, bigger number so we have to compare which fraction is the smaller fraction we have the same numerators that right so the greater the denominator that fraction is the smaller fraction so we have the denominator 6 12 7 16 13 in all these 16 is the greater number so this fraction is the smaller fraction so i wrote first 5 by 16 this is the smaller one next compare 6 12 7 and 13 so 13 is the greater so next smaller fraction is 5 by 13 so next write 5 by 13 we have 6 12 and 7 so 12 is the greater one next smaller fraction is 5 by 12 so write 5 by 12 we have 5 by 6 and 5 by 7 so compare 6 and 7 7 is the greater one so 5 by 7 is the smaller fraction write 5 by 7 next one is the 5 by 6 so write 5 by 16 5 by 13 5 by 12 5 by 7 5 by 6 this is the ascending order that is smaller fraction to the bigger fraction so 5 by 16 is less than 5 by 13 is less than 5 by 12 less than 5 by 7 is less than 5 by 6 now we have to write in descending order that means the greater number to the smaller number so the smaller the denominator the uh, that fraction is the bigger fraction so 6 12 7 16 13 6 is a smaller one so 6 5 by 6 is the greater fraction so write 5 by 6 and compare 12 7 16 13 7 is the smaller one so 5 by 7 is the bigger fraction so write 5 by 7 12 16 13 thir 12 is the smaller one so 5 by 12 is the bigger fraction write 5 by 12 next 13 and 16 13 is the smaller one 5 by 13 is the bigger one write 5 by 13 and left one is 5 by 16 so 5 by 6 is greater than 5 by 7 is greater than 5 by 12 is greater than 5 by 13 and 5 by 16 so when we are having the numerators same compare the denominators and write in ascending and descending order here we have one more problem 1 by 2 2 by 3 5 by 6 and 3 by 8 we have to write these fractions in ascending and descending order we have different numerators and different denominators in such cases we have to find the lcm and write the equivalent fractions for that fractions and then compare the fractions so 
you had to find the LCM of the denominators 2, 3, 6 and 8. So, for finding 2, 3, 6, 8, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2 3, 2, 3, 2, 6, 2, 4, 2, 8 and we have 3 here. 3, 1, 2, so multiply all these numbers we get 24. So, 24 is the LCM. So, now convert into equivalent fractions. 1 by 2 is equals to 1 by 2 into to get 24 we have to multiply by 12. So, 1 by 2 into 12 by 12 is equals to 1 into 12, 12, 2 into 12, 24, 12 by 24 and 2 by 3 is equals to 2 by 3 into to get 24 we have to multiply 3 by 8. So, I am multiplying 8 by 8. So, 2 into 8 16, 3 into 8 24. And 5 by 6 is equals to 5 by 6 into to get 24, 6 should be multiplied by 4. So, multiplying 4 by 4 is equals to 5 into 4, 26 into 4, 24. And 3 by 8 is equals to 3 by 8 into to get 24, 8 should be multiplied by 3. So, 3 by 3 is equals to 9, 3 into 3, 9, 8 into 3, 24. We got all the equivalent fractions for these fractions and now we have to compare the fractions. Now, we have the equivalent fractions. So, write that equivalent fractions 12 by 24, 16 by 24, 20 by 24 and 9 by 24. Now, we have to write them in the ascending order. We have all the denominators same. So, like fractions. In such cases, we have to compare the numerators. So, compare the numerators. The smaller the numerator, that fraction is a smaller one. So, 12, 16, 20, 9. 9 is a smaller one, so 9 by 21 is 24 is a smaller fraction. Next 12 by 24, next 16 by 24 and next 20 by 24. These are the equivalent fractions, right? 9 by 24 means we have 3 by 8. So, 3 by 8 is less than 1 by 2 is less than 2 by 3 is less than 5 by 6. Now, we have to write in the descending order that is bigger number. So, compare the numerators, the numerator with the bigger number is the greater one. So, 20 is the uh, bigger number. So, 20 by 24 is a greater fraction. Next 16 by 24, next 12 by 24 and 9 by 24. So, so write 20 by 24 is greater than 16 by 24 is greater than 12 by 24 is greater than 9 by 24. So, for this the equivalent fractions are 20 by 24 means 5 by 6, 16 by 24 means 2 by 3, 12 by 24 means 1 by 2, 9 by 24 means 3 by 8. So, like this we have to compare the fractions.